So we've kind of like um, this. Uh, oh, you see, it's kind of like. Yep. Don't say kind of like. Today's the day we're going to decide where to put the stickers. Well, we kind of thought it's going to be there. Yeah. It's raining outside, so what better time to use? See, Darren's sticker takes up nearly one whole bit. <laughs> Massive. That's what she said. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I've got to work out the order to put them in, though. Um, just go for, the the go for the closest to you. But don't put two of Darren's together. Together, now split them up. Does it feel like it's sticking well? Yeah, yeah. Because it's quite a textured surface there. Let me get you a bit closer so you can see. A little bit of a textured surface. So hopefully it'll stick well. Should be all right. Yeah. And if not, Next. for everything Martin. in life, there's Pritt stick. <laughs> So there we go. We've got kind of places we've been to, Sagres, and then that cool little um, uh, restaurant. restaurant. In Vega. Yeah. And then we've got the sticker so far. Now, obviously, we need to be uh, ordering some more right now because we're in lockdown. So I think Ash, someone's sending Ashes out so we can get Ash's sticker sorted out. Nice. Um, CJ, we need to get one of CJ's sorted out as well. Need one from Mevi. Oh yeah, Mevy's new <coughs> ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely get one of his new ones. I think we've got a picture of our other sticker wall anyway. So yeah, we, we need to, we need we to need. work off lots of others on because there was lots of on there that um that we met at Quirky. Yeah. So you've got we've got like I'll Explore and uh, Florence and the Morgan. Oh yeah. And um uh, Serenity. Oh, um, so quite a few to pick yeah, up. Yes, so we've got a few that we need to uh, to get hunting for stickers. Oh, hi. If you don't see your name on there. Send us a sticker. Yes. I don't know. How are you going to send it <laughs> <No>. to us? <laughs> Car Park 87, Derbyshire. Yes. <laughs> so today's task is to put the door seal on and also to go inside here and put the sound deadening in. Because right now, the door sounds like that. Put the sound deadening in, sound a lot better. Um, so um, I won't really go into depth in this one. I've actually got another video about doing this on the other van. Literally is as much as you can possibly fit all the way along. So I just need to put some tape over those slits that I've cut in there, put the door back together, go and do the same on the other side. For those of you who don't quite know why I'm doing this, Listen to that and listen to this. This door hasn't been done yet. So that's the difference. So that's the job done now. A little cut out there for the lock. And then the door seal's done. The rest of it's all back in. All done and nicely sound deadened.
little pal. Did you have a nice walkies? Yeah. Oh, good boy. So nice walkies. And it's all whacked out. Oh, sleepy wake up, Oh. Have a nice dance. Doing the chai dance. In another mm, world. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Doing the chai dance. Chai dance. So you got a new little prezi, haven't you? Oh, look. Oh. Thanks, well, Eamon and Beck. Thank you, Eamon and Beck. Well, for oh, making it. Yes, for making it we and did designing buy it. it. We yes. Were trying to help them out as a little business, so. Yes, so we thought we'd get some sent all the way from Canada. And, um, and oh, I'm so glad I did. It's a wonderful blend. We were very lucky um, that when we were in Tarifa that uh, Beck made us a, a chai latte and I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't thing. get that. I, I you did of, all the work. Yeah, I did two hours work fitting a solar panel and doing all that and you got you got a free drink. Yep. Oof. Well, they couldn't disturb you. You were busy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so us girls sat round and drank chai, yeah. which was good. So you're going to go and uh, show people how this chai thing works then? I am. A cup of chai. So they recommend using oat milk. Um, and I've got some autolibarista, which is lovely. But I don't normally have milk in coffees, and so I find lattes a bit much. So I go half and half. So that's half water and half milk. And then I was thinking then there's a lot of things, but yeah, so half water and half milk. Half milk, yeah. All and cold then, and everything. All cold. Yeah. And then you pour it in your little pot. Then you go in here. It's like a fresh, wet chai. Yum! It is quite nice that. Mm, it's, it's very, very fresh and yeah. slightly Christmassy. Tablespoon of this. So I've got it on a, a medium light, but that's only because I don't want the flames coming right up the sides and burning my hand. Yeah, all the pot. All the pot, yeah. So um, I just have it on that. Last time I did it, it took me um, about four minutes uh, for it to go just before it's boiling. Um, so you don't boil the milk through and then it's nice because it's almost drinkable mm, it's that's what that's what um, Beck was so lovely to give us because yeah. they, they were going to share some chai but they were waiting for a delivery themselves yeah, at the time left, they, yeah. and they had none left so she gave us some uh, chai sprinkles which I've been having in coffee and I'm still having my coffee and um, it's just maple sugar with spices but it's wonderful so uh, yeah see you in four minutes Are you ready Getting to the point where I can see bubbles coming around the outside. Round the it's outside, like going a little bit of the a... outside. <sighs> Always. Always. So yes, yeah, so well I think that's done. So yeah. I want it drinkable. So I'll turn off that. And I've got my little sieve, which I got in the pack uh, from Chai Walla. And if you look at that, look how fresh everything is in there. Kind of proper whole cardamom pods and fennel seeds. It looks more like coffee than tea, though. So it's a shame you can't get smell vision on this because. Especially now I've put that the on the hot on. milk. Yeah. It's all. Sorry, what is it? It's wonderful. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's so nice. You can, you can feel the spices tingling on the side of your tongue. Yeah. That is really nice. It's so refreshing too. Chai walla chai. <laughs> Good start to the day. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So you might ask, what is this silver thing? It's our water filter. And that's the brand name there, which apparently is um, the same as the Berkey, but Berkey is American. We changed the tap out. For the plastic tap they give with you which is a stainless steel tap so it's a bit stronger so go on then show us in the top show us in the top so happy birthday to it's you it's not a cake but it's candles well i suppose they are <laughs> aren't they so they're the filter candles and you can put four of them in if you can see there's four candles four candles <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so there's just two ceramic filter candles in there for now which means that we should be able to filter 6,000 litres of water. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So basically you just put your, your water, whatever source, it can be river, canal, or a tap. Garage, forecourt, to topping up your engine kind of stuff if yeah, you want to. Anything that. Put it in there. Put it so that, as you can see from the lines that we've been using it, so it covers the top of the filters. 
it takes what was it three or four goes for them to fully saturate yeah at first it started off taking about six hours for it to all pull through and yeah. now it's done in three yeah so. so and i think for the first two times you have to bin the water don't you that yeah. comes out the bottom yeah because you get you get like a uh, little bits of sediment and stuff yeah, as, it's, kind of as it's flushes through, through yeah. yeah so after that obviously it's just yeah chuck it water in there whatever source your water is and then gravity just kind of like drips it out through there. So if you want to lift that up so people can see what's underneath I'll it. I'll get fingerprints on it. Oh, you'll be right. So that is obviously the bottom. And the water just drains out of those two little nozzles there from those filters. So drip, 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 drip. Into there. And then that's your fresh water. And like I say, that's where the tap is. So it comes out the tap there. Um, and this is obviously the bit that is gorgeous. It's lovely, tasty, and it doesn't smell or anything. It's like alpine fresh water, isn't it? Is it is literally, the, it's the most thirst quenching water that I've ever had. And that includes bottles of Evian and anything like that, that you can buy in the shop. It's so clear and tasty. It's, um, it's really nice. good. I just keep like, nicking the water. Of course you can't have too much water. No. So, so fridge fans going in today. This is the other side of the little top cupboard um, over the fridge, so easy access to electrics. Just need to uh, squeeze the cables through there. And it's just going to be to suck the hot air out of this top vent. So there's the bottom vent down there. So to give all that a clean up and everything down there. And then um, just clean this up. Install the fans over this side where the heat exchanger is done all this before so not really going to show you exactly what it is I'll point you to the other video just like the soundproofing bit and um, you can see exactly how it works in there but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like and what we're going to be doing so these are the fans 140 mil diameter and they're waterproof and they come with that little control unit there where you can have them on auto or you can set the speed like i say it's all temperature controlled and everything as well so yeah pretty cool really and that's the control inside um it's actually on its side because um running out of space to put things out there um, and i just leave it on auto just so that when it reaches its temperature which is about 20 odd degrees it's all explained in the book and um, it switches the fans on automatically and then controls the fan speed uh, depending on whether the temperature um, goes up or goes down so yeah it's pretty cool really thank you very much for everybody for buying our stickers we've um had a, a lot heck of a lot today we've been um been a bit busy haven't we yeah little hands hurting but uh hand is hurting but my heart is full oh. if you've not already seen the review i've done on both my other channel um, click on the uh, video description and you'll get a link to this video of me reviewing the three Power Oak power banks. Really great devices, great for van life. Um, you can use it as your sole power source in your van or an extra power source. Link it up to your solar and charge it. All that kind of great stuff. But that's over on the Gadget John channel. Like I say, you can see it on the screen now. And it's also in the video description down below. Hello and welcome to another week of lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this week's lockdown's been better. It definitely has, yeah. Because we've had um, more ability to go out and, you know, get exercise whenever we want now. Unlimited exercise. So we have unlimited late aches and pains in our legs and butts. Yes, thanks to the purchase of a couple of bikes. Yeah, and obviously Cooper's now getting lots more walkies. Too. Yeah, we go a little bit further now, so we get um, like a good 6k. Yeah, walk about five six k. Yeah, so that's really good, and most of it's off lead for him. So he's just happily jumping oh, around. Yeah. All you can say is this little springer spaniel, springy butt, or just boing 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 all over where we're going. Oh, oh he's so, so he's so funny to watch, isn't yeah. he? Oh. But it has been allowing me to understand the um, sports and fitness capabilities of my watch. So I am going to do my watch review. I was just struggling, really. I know you were all saying, like, are you going to do one? I said, yeah, but I was struggling to find ways that I could really tell you everything about the watch. So at least now, then, I can tell you that it's really, really good. In fact, it's far better than the Apple Watch Mandy's been using. Yep, I've, we've been both doing the same bike rides or the same walks and John's getting so much more information from that watch. It's mm, unbelievable. It's it even cool. catches the zones, the um, aerobic and anaerobic and lactic burns and all this kind of... It's really good. And then it gives me my shock factor at the end. 
It says, you'll need 19 hours of recovery time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he still <laughs> needs more, though, man. Yep. It's like, get out of bed the next day. Oh, my buttocks. Yeah. One of the really coolest things that we've got in the last few weeks are the electric folding mountain bikes. I mean, we'll do a, a full review video over on the Gadget John channel. So if you want a full review of the bikes, obviously I'll put a card up there now, or there'll be a link in the video description, or just go to Gadget John and you'll see the review there. Um, but as f you know, as a little mini review for you guys, um, we're getting roughly about 60 kilometers um, out of the batteries, and that is using um, medium to low assist. Um, the construction of them is more than enough to get you over all sorts of rocky terrain, and they're perfectly okay on everything like that, so they're nice and sturdy. They weigh about 26 kilograms, um, and the battery in them is removable, but I've actually gone and worked our way to make them removable so you can carry on charging them as well out of the bike. Mm -hmm. So that'll be in the, the big review. Um, and I think it took four and a half hours or thereabouts yesterday to charge the batteries. Yeah, yeah. They do look good. They look so much better than... Um, do you get some looks from people looking at them going, wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just well impressed. I mean, I used to and do all the spinning classes and things and I thought that I'd be struggling. But if anybody ever wonders whether spinning classes and hit sessions and stuff help, they do. You're yeah. really kind of like, ooh, my bike. I love it. Yeah, and I didn't want him to buy them. I'm, I'm like, know, no, we're not, we're not going to use them. I won't ride a bike. I was looking at all these bikes and the prices, and she's looking over my shoulder on the phone. She's going, you're not spending that much money. We're not spending that much money. And, um, yeah, I'm glad I did now. You don't kind of save that much money by not being able to go anywhere. So, well, no, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's worked out. But, yeah, I didn't think I'd... I'd like it as much and Coop is getting very tired after a 6k walk so doing that every day for him mm. would he, 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 we did it twice didn't we on the run mm. and then he couldn't go out the next day because his little joints were killing him so yeah. we kind of do one day on one day off which means that on the day off days where we're not taking Coop for a massive walk we go out on the bikes mm. hopefully it won't be much longer and hopefully everybody else is handling everything really well and um, hopefully you're healthy and safe and you've not had any issues yourself or anything like that yep and uh and yeah, fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll all be out and about bumping into each other in better locations very, yeah. very soon. Well, kind of with a, with a two metre air gap bumping well, into yeah, each other. Well, yeah, bumping into each other <laughs> figuratively. Yeah. You know, like, hey, look, all the way over there, that's such and such body. So yeah, that kind of bumping. I mean, I've had a mini meetup, not a mini me meetup, but a mini meetup. Um, I don't know if you know, there's a new channel guy out there that fell on a bit of hard luck. Um, so his channel name's Jock in a Box. Uh, it's David, and uh, he's living in a little LDV van. Uh, basically, went for a job, moved, got a new place, and then COVID hit, and then lost his job and lost his place. So he's now one of us living in a van. So he needed all those things, and uh, as you know, we changed the batteries out of this one. I carry loads of spares and all that kind of stuff anyway. And... Um, yeah, Power Oak were nice enough to say that I could give him one of the uh, battery banks he sent us. So uh, we met up with him, he was doing the rounds of um, travelling to get some part to fix his door because the side of his van's falling out. So he told me where he was going and I said, listen, we're like, you know, just a short time away from there. So if you come via us, put it in the middle of the road for you, you can pick it up and then do that. So it's kind of like a mini meetup. Yeah. But, you know, safe distance, drop it off and quick chat and then he's off on his way. So, yeah, I'll put a link to his channel down below if you want to go give him a watch. Um, obviously, for the next few weeks, he's going to be building a van and living it and getting used to van life. Yep. So, But it's nice to know that other people are out there helping out and all that. Yeah, Darren he's, he's, he's so full of praise for yeah. everybody because he's had so many people have been helping him with tiny little things mm. to bigger things and, like, the door and yeah. Daz devoting a... Mo Monday to, to him yeah. because you know it really really got to Daz and you know it stopped him smiling for a whole video which Aww. was was awful to see but at least he's you know he knows he's helping now so yeah. everyone's perking back up and we don't need to see anybody down on the look so no it's just a part of the community is to to enjoy van life and to help others if we if we can yeah some people helped him just by saying here's a better insurance company and it brought his insurance company uh, insurance cost down by a factor of 20 or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like, you know... You don't have doesn't... to give stuff. No, it's just it's advice just, and, just advice and help things like and, that. So, and just someone cool. to 
say hi on the comments as well mm. makes him feel a little bit less lonely so yeah yeah it's all good aye so that's probably about it really for for this little vlog um not too sure whether um you'll get any interest from my little watch review but i will do that next week now i've been collecting my data um and yes the little tv that um, we got the um cello cello yeah cello cello i can't I, let's go for cello yep yeah um that review is going to be out next week as well so over on gadget john you'll get all those kind of notifications and um anything i do technically and everything i'll put it over there but for not now, technically no but, you know, no actually, no actually technically yeah. actually yeah <laughs> yeah and hopefully i'll be doing some more bits and bats got some bits of, of sewing and eating and yeah cooking. you're gonna make the um masks aren't you yes so um that's a bit of bit of sewing for mandy to use a nice little uh, little portable little sewing machine, sewing machine. Yep, but i had a bit of a use of it and i'm i'm well impressed yep. and uh yeah so i get a little bit of that and, and everyone's uh, been begging for you one for pan cooking, meals so yeah get me thinking cap on for yep. some uh, some more one pan meals yeah oh shook sorry guys i'm gonna have loads of nice food to test out <laughs> Dear me. i better get on that bike yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right then so we'll catch you soon you take care and um yeah See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.